That's scary. That's my own backyard, you know what I mean? Jackie Tracy describes to 11 News the disturbing noises she and her family heard outside of their Dundalk home. It was crazy. I thought somebody was trying to break in. I heard a bunch of crashing and banging and I ran to the window. It was Sunday, just before midnight. She saw a car, an Infiniti Q50, had crashed into her fence and backyard. She also saw police. And that's when I noticed an officer running with his gun out. It scared me. Of course it scared me. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm watching. I'm like, well, where's the driver? Baltimore County Police say the driver, 25-year-old Xavier Logan Jr., is now facing attempted first-degree murder, assault, narcotics, and gun charges. You're not driving away. That's what I was thinking. He was driving away. He was already out of the car and ran. Today, in court, a judge ruled Logan a public risk and denied him bail. According to a court charging document, Logan Jr. accelerated the vehicle at a high rate of speed down the alleyway. Logan Jr. dragged an officer over 500 feet before crashing. The court record also indicates an earlier crash took place in another alley. Police believe Logan intentionally slammed into a fence and metal pole behind Belclair Road to try to get the officer off the car. Police say in trying to stop Logan, another officer fired his handgun once. Tracy says she heard several shots. That's probably what I heard. Pop, pop, pop. The gunshots. Police say they found two ghost guns in the car, one on the floor under the steering wheel, the other in a backpack. One of the weapons had a high capacity magazine and a switch that could make it fully automatic. Also seized suspected cocaine and marijuana and over $15,000 in cash. Now, police say they chased Logan on foot and one officer used a taser so that they could arrest him. Reporting live from Towson, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.